in theater. Subscribe. Does your sleep consist of tossing and turning through the night? Do you wake up soaking wet because your mattress has terrible air circulation? And do you wish you can wake up like a Disney princess, all happy and cheerful and singing, but instead you wake up like this because your mattress is so hard you may as well be sleeping on your kitchen table? Boy, do I have a solution for you. Helix Sleep! What was that? Helix Sleep! This video was sponsored by Helix Sleep. Helix Sleep is a company that makes customizable premium mattresses and bedding designed to fit your needs and everything is conveniently shipped to your door. Period. We love convenience. And you might be saying, how is a random mattress that I order online going to fit my specific needs? Let me introduce you to the sleep quiz. Now everyone is different, especially when it comes to sleeping and Helix Sleep knows that. So they designed a quiz that will help you match your unique body type and sleep preference to a mattress that's perfect for you. You can even take the quiz with your partner if you share a bed so you can find something that is perfect for the both of you. Based on my mattress results, I was matched with the Helix Moonlight Luxe, which is perfect because I'm like a side stomach sleeper. I sleep in that weird position where it's like you have one leg up and one leg straight. And you have like one arm underneath the pillow. You're on your side, but you're mostly kind of on your stomach. Yeah, I just pick stomach sleeper. I love a soft bed like give me a marshmallow I want to be sleeping on like a huge marshmallow like that's how soft I need my bed to be and I sleep alone I've had my mattress for about a week and what I love about it is that it's super soft when I said it's giving marshmallow It's giving marshmallow. It's not just the mattress that's soft. It's like the material covering the mattress is very soft, where it's almost as if you don't need a sheet. Now, I sleep with the sheet, but if you just had your bare mattress, let's say you don't got no clean sheets, you will be perfectly fine sleeping on top of like the bare mattress and just like a blanket. Like I'm telling you, it's that soft. You really don't need anything on it, you know, but for sanitary reasons, put something on it. I also love the firmness, like it's soft but it's also very supportive. I sleep really well through the night and it's 10 times way more enjoyable and comfortable than my last mattress. My last mattress, eh, she had her problems. Um, I used to use a two inch memory foam topper because she wasn't soft. Like I said, when I need when I need cloud, I need you to give me cloud and eat marshmallow. Yeah, that's what I need, that's what I mean. This mattress, you literally don't need anything for it. But pillows, of course, like we all need pillows and a blanket, babe. It also comes with two free pillows. When you order your mattress, you also get two free pillows. And I tell you, these pillows so soft, like, look at this. <sighs> I can tell this pillow is going to last for a while. You know, like you get a pillow from Walmart or something, like that bad boy. You got like a month at most before it's flat. With your Helix Sleep Mattress, you get a 100 night sleep trial with the 10 year warranty. So if it makes you nervous buying something that you never tried before, you get more than three months to be like, hey, I really like this. I'm gonna keep it. Or hey, I don't like it. Take it back and they'll come pick it up for you and you get a full refund. Perfect, no problem. The best part about it is that the mattress ships straight to your door free within the US. It comes rolled up in a box and it's super easy to set up and let me tell you. <laughs> the process of like getting the mattress, opening it and like unraveling the mattress and unveiling its mattressy beauty it's literally mind-boggling. It's literally one of the coolest things you'll probably ever see. It's a queen size mattress, or whatever mattress size you need, rolled up in a box. Boy, I tell you, the 21st century is crazy out here. Helix has financing options and flexible payment plans, so a good night's sleep is never far away. Starting August 23rd, since August 23rd, they even had a special financing offer where with the qualifying purchase, you could be paying as little as a dollar a day for your new mattress. This is a limited time offer ending September 19th. So if you've been in the market for a new mattress, just click the link in the description or go to helixsleep.com slash Lakia for up to $200 off your Helix Sleep mattress plus two free pillows, babes. <laughs> we love free. So you need a new mattress, click the link in the description and even you can wake up like your favorite Disney princess or Prince. Thank you Helix Sleep for sponsoring this video. Now, let's get into Tangled. Tangled is like one of those Disney movies where I haven't seen it as much as, let's say Mulan, so 
I don't know. It's kind of like underrated in my arsenal, like in like the grand scheme of all Disney movies I've seen. For most people, it's like top tier, but for me, it's like underrated. I haven't seen it as much. This is the story of how I died. Well, don't worry, this is actually a very fun story, and the truth is, it isn't even mine. This is the story of a girl named Rapunzel. So what does what the dying have to do? Oh, he did die, didn't he? He died at the end, so it makes sense. Spoiled. It had the ability to heal the sick and injured. Oh, you see that old woman over there? Yes, it old And the queen, but she got sick. She was running out of time, and, and that's when people usually start to look for a miracle, a magic golden flower. So we got the entire village to get together to look for this flower? I mean, what they do for the royals, right? Let that have been me, a mere peasant, would have just died. Power, gleam, and glow. Let your power shine. Why would she leave it? Why wouldn't she bring with her, right? A healthy baby girl. A princess. Oh, she's so cute. Beautiful golden hair. Beautiful golden hair, ma'am. I want to see her as a newborn. Like, how much hair did she have on her head as a newborn? That's why I want to know. Like, was it a full head of hair? She came out just hairy. Flower, gleam, and glow. Let your power shine. I would literally have nightmares. I would have woke up after hearing, like, that old, crispy, crackly voice and been like... It would have haunted me for the rest of my life. For deep within the forest, in a hidden tower, Gothel raised the child as her own. I really love the way they animate the hair. It's so pretty. Gothel had found her new magic flower. The outside world is a dangerous place. I mean, SpongeBob said it best. I know of a place where you never get harmed. Understand, flower. Yes, mommy. Oh no, not calling her a flower. That's something just so sick about that. It would have been even worse if she named her flower. Pascal. Oh come on, Pascal. It's not so bad in there. Yes, ma'am. Here we go. I feel like this song is the anthem of my life right now. 7 a.m. the usual morning. Line up, start on the chores and sweep to the floors. Actually, I lied. It's not my anthem. First thing I do in the morning is definitely not start on the chores. Then after lunch, it's puzzles and darts and baking. Paper mache, a bit of ballet and chess. Take a climb, go and dress. If we're being completely honest, Babe is talented. Her skill set is very much fleshed out. Wondering, 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 where will my life begin? Sweetie, same. Mother, She's actually a really good kid that she stayed in the house, like, didn't rebel at all. She's a good kid with a great skill set. She would flourish in today's time. She could open several businesses. <laughs> oh, hey, Fever? Yeah. Uh. Huh? All the things we've seen and it's only 8 in the morning. Gentlemen, this is a very big day. I like how their mornings are completely different. He's still in the crown out of the castle. She's doing multiple things. And she's strong too. It's nothing. Then I don't know why it takes so long. <laughs> oh, darling, I'm just teasing. Oh, look, you're here too. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Stop taking everything so seriously. Wait, Wait. once was mine. Hey, do what has been heard. Change your face design. Say what has been lost. Oh. Mine. Rapunzel. Does it only work if she's brushing her hair? The way I feel about it is this. Ma'am, Botox does exist. Get you a few shots. You didn't have to kidnap a girl. You know how I feel about the mummy. Blah, 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 blah. It's very annoying. I'm just teasing. You're adorable. I love you so much, darling. She keep doing this thing where, like, she'll say something, like, degrading, disrespectful, rude, and then she, like, she cleans it up with, I love you. What do you call that? Like, it's very sick behavior. Very, like, manipulative. She says how she really feels, and then she, like, just, like, let's come. Let me cover it up with a little bit of love. A little bit of false, false love. Let me cover it up. You want to go outside? Uh, why, Rapunzel? So, but not yet. Trust me, pet mother knows best. Hey, mother knows best. 
Listen to your mother. Poison ivy, quicksand, cannibals and snakes. The plague. No, yes. Men with pointy teeth and, and stop no more. You'll just upset me. Honestly, mm, Mother Guthrie's song, it's really good, but it just doesn't beat Be Prepared to Me. Doesn't beat Friends on the Other Side. Doesn't beat Punchback and Notre Dame. Gullible, naive, positively cute. But it is a bop. Don't forget it. You regret it, mother knows best. I'll see you in a bit, my flower. Honestly, Rapunzel can for sure take on Mother Gothel. She pulls her up every day. You know how much strength training that is? She gets strength training like at least three times a day. She could most definitely take on Mother if she wanted to. They just can't get my nose right. Who cares? You guys look amazing. <laughs> they look decent. But honestly, Flynn does have a really nice nose in person. On the drawing, they gave him their nose. That after all we've been through together, you don't trust me? Ouch. Sir, you're the reason why we're in this position. You should have took the crown and said nothing. Now help us up, pretty boy. Sorry. My hands are full. Rider! But that was actually a big job to ask him to help y'all up. Y'all are big men. Flynn's not that big. Y'all are pretty huge. That was a pretty tough job to ask of him. Ugh, come on, <laughs> Fleabag, forward. Oh. <laughs> Maximus is literally my favorite character. As an animal sidekick, he does what he needs to do. Pascal is lit. It's like technically the animal sidekick, but Maximus brings the comedy that I that I need. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think this is a horse-like behavior. <sighs> ah, alone at last. Ah. Mm -hmm. ah. That's a cast iron skillet. Like I knew for a fact that hurt. And the fact that she was just able to like swing it like it's nothing. Cast iron, cast iron skillets are literally heavy. As I'm saying, like she could easily take Mother Gotho if she wanted to. Does she know what the opposite sex look like? I don't think she would know, like, hey, this is a man. Because <laughs> Mother Gothel only taught her about, like, scary men, right? She ain't teach her about good-looking men. Well, <laughs> tell that to my frying pan. Ooh. I know for a fact that hurt it. Oh. I wonder what we do with this. Do we put it in our hands? Do we put it on our feet? Come on, I thought... Out of all the books she read, she knows what to do with a crown. Come on! Enough of the lights, Rapunzel! You, you are, are not leaving this tower! Emma! That ever lives rent-free in my head. Anytime I have a chance to say, like, ever in a sentence, I say it like Mother Gothel. Fun most definitely should be brain dead at this point. He should have several concussions. Who are you? And how did you find me? <clears throat> I know not who you are, nor <laughs> how I came to find you. But may I just say... Hi. Hi. Personality. Most Disney princes can't relate. Naveen can. Aladdin can. But the others, who are they? Uh, oh, eyebrows too? Yes, sir. Well, tomorrow evening, they will light the night sky. I feel like this town, this whole village, or this, what do you call it, kingdom, is kind of small. It's on the island, right? Where does Flynn live? Where does he come from? Something brought you here, Flynn Rider. Call it what you will. Fate. Destiny. A horse. So I have made... <laughs> A horse. <laughs> oh, that's funny. A horse? <laughs> like, how did you get here? Fate. A horse. Help. You will never find your precious satchel. <laughs> I don't even know why it's so funny to me. And I promise. <laughs> Does she just, she just doesn't own shoes? I can't believe I did this. But that's okay. I mean, what she doesn't know won't kill her. Flynn just like, girl, come on. I would most definitely be Flynn in this situation. 
I can't help but notice you seem a little at war with yourself here. <laughs> Same. What happened to his little hairstyle? He had a little hairstyle before. <laughs> kind of smart for a horse that he could do that. Put a little disguise on. Wait, so his mother got those sick? Because the flower gave healing properties, right? And like turning old is not a sickness unless the flower has like eternal properties. Ah, there it is, the snuggly duckling. Is this you? Is that my nose? Oh, no. absolutely not. Haven't any of you ever had a dream? Oh, he's a slave. I'm malicious, mean, mean and scary. My snare could cuddle, cuddle dairy. Cause way down deep inside, I got a dream. He's got a dream. And I ain't as cruel and vicious as I see. But despite my nose and my goiter and my nose, I really wanna make a love connection. I've got a dream. I've got a dream. I've got a dream. I've got a dream. I'm glad a man collects a ceramic unicorn. Being surrounded by enormous piles of money. I got a dream. I just want to see the floating mattress clean. Out of everyone's dream, I think I relate most with the love connection dude or the concert pianist. So, Flynn, where are you from? Whoa, whoa, sorry, Blondie, I don't do backstory. How I love a good backstory. It's conducive to a, to a main character's character development. Isn't she like part Tarzan though? <laughs> part Tarzan. Isn't she like like she's related to Tarzan or she relates to Frozen? She's related to somebody, like theory wise, or maybe it's like Tarzan's related to Frozen. You don't bring a pot. You don't bring a skillet to a knife fight. I'm so sorry, Flynn. Eugene. My real name is Eugene Fitzherbert. Someone might as well know. It's kind of a nice moment. Kind of a nice moment. Tell her your real name. Eugene! Why does her hair glow? Eugene! <laughs> what? It doesn't just glow. He's like, yeah. <laughs> I was going to offer you something worth 1,000 crowns. Oh, well, say lovey. Enjoy your crown. She's like a master manipulator. She really knows how to use people to get what she wants. Eugene Fitzherbert, huh? Ah, uh, yeah, well, I'll spare you the sob story of poor orphan Eugene Fitzherbert. It's a little bit of a... Oh, he's an orphan. Okay. What else? Come on, Flynn. Like, seriously. <laughs> What's the backstory? It's the tales of Flanagan Ryder. Swashbuckling rogue, richest... Flanagan? <laughs> he had enough money to do anything that he wanted to do. He could go anywhere that he wanted to go. About oh. this, okay? Honestly, if I had, like, a terrible childhood, I would take on the personality or the, like alter ego of some cool person I read in a book or a movie. That would be my new identity. For the record, I like Eugene Fitzherbert much better than Flynn Rider. I mean, I like the person Eugene better, but the name Flynn Rider just kind of like hits different, you know, Flynn Rider. <laughs> oh, ma'am, please don't pop up like that. No. No, I see how it is. Girl, she must need like a little dose of Rapunzel every other hour because it wasn't that long ago. I mean, it's, it's been three days. Hmm. It hasn't been a complete three days. It's been like a few hours. You're already pushing 60. You were 30 a few hours ago. Don't come crying. Mother knows best. Brilliant. Who's the voice actor? Who's the singer? Why is he still wet? That was like several hours ago. That's it. <laughs> Pascal's funny. Now sit. <laughs> sit. That's literally my dog. Drop, Drop it. it. <laughs> You're such a good boy. That's literally my dog. Except girl. <laughs> I 
know that's extremely heavy on her head. I know for a fact, like, her head will be like that. She kind of, she kind of looks like me. Kind of fun. I would join. I would join a little dancing circle. Here we go. Everyone's favorite part. Is this a requirement of the entire village? Like, are we required to light lanterns? Will we get arrested if we decide, like, hey, this year I don't want to light a lantern. Staying in tonight. All those days watching from the windows. All that time. Never really knowing just how blind I've been. Oh, that's a pre sight. I'm where I'm meant to be. I'm not scared anymore. You know what I mean? I'm starting to. Aw, I love Lynn's part. Ah! All that time, never truly seeing things the way they were. If she's here, it's crystal clear. I'm where I'm meant to go. And at last I see the light. And it's warm. is Flynn. I think we all know that Rapunzel's voiced by Mandy Moore, but like, what about Flynn? See you. Sir, wave the room in the moment. Everything okay? Huh? She's like, sir, oh, yes. where's my kiss? <laughs> what happened there? I was starting to think you ran off with the crown and left me. He did. What? No. I like how she's not even like scared that two grown built like men just came out of the dark <laughs> approaching her. She's been to the snuggly duckling. Nothing scares her anymore. Forever. No, please. No. Wait, you're putting her in no. a sack? I was so worried about you, dear. So I followed you and I saw them attack you and let's go, let's go before they come to. She's a great actress. <laughs> she is. Give her her Oscar. She's a fantastic actress. I believe that she was saving her for a second and that it was not ill intent. Wait, does Maximus save the day? Does he save the day like somehow? What is Maxie gonna do? Yeah, y'all fools locked up too. Please speak up, Rapunzel. You know how I hate the mumbling. I am the lost princess, aren't I? Did I mumble, mother? Ooh, she said, did I mumble, mother? No, and I will never let you use my hair again. I knew she could take her. Man, we could have a fist fight real easy. Oh, Gunther, or whoever that is. Who had the unicorns? How did they know that he was in trouble? Frank. Oh, Maxi, right? Maxi, Maxi, Maxi. You brought them here? Good boy. Thank you. Uh, I feel maybe this whole time we've just been misunderstanding one another and we're really just... <laughs> yeah, you're right, we should go. Max is like, frenemies, bro, we're frenemies. Mother Gotha was such a good villain because she's she's very realistic. Like find you again. Like look how sick this is. You have her chained up. Oh, Pascal. Now what you thought she was doing? Everything is gonna be okay though. No, Rapunzel. I promise you. Just breathe. That's literally that's literally Eugene's biggest crime he's ever committed. <laughs> Cutting her that short is like out of all the things he's done. That's his biggest crime. No! So she was only alive for as long as the hair was intact. That kind of sucks. Like her life was tied to the flower. Soon as she used it. Oh. 
Pascal's little murderer, isn't he? Pascal said, I did not forget what you just did, ma'am. I didn't forget how you flung me across the room. Now I'm flinging you out the tower. Like, it just doesn't look like, it just doesn't look good. I just don't like it. I mean, I get it. Maybe his arm just wasn't like at the perfect angle to cut it how it needed to be cut. He could have left her at least mid-back length. Shoulder length would have been cute. You were my new dream. Oh, that's cute. It's kind of cute. <laughs> Save what has been lost, what once was mine. It's interesting, the lighting choice. It's so glim now, which is perfect, but I also feel like it's so glim because her hair is also cut. Like the vibrancy of that blonde hair, it's just gone, you know? First, I think first time I watched this scene, I thought that her hair would be restored, but Disney just couldn't let us be great. Rapunzel? Flynn said, we're twinsies. Did I ever tell you I've got a thing for brunettes? Twinsies. Same lit hair, same color. They're actually twins. I would have been like, you know my daughter. My daughter most definitely had blonde hair. Who are you? She still don't have no shoes on, huh? Well... You can imagine what happened next. The party lasted an entire week, and honestly, I don't wow. remember most of it. Does that mean he was drunk? That guy went on to become the most famous concert pianist in the world. Hey, yeah. And this guy, well, he eventually he found some love. love. Cute. All right, I love it. I love a happy ending. Max. Thanks to Maximus, right. crime in the kingdom disappeared almost overnight. There's no way I'm giving up like swords for a cast iron skillet. Did Rapunzel and I ever get married? Well, I'm pleased to tell you. I like his new look. He's so cute. I, I finally, finally said, said yes. yes. I asked her. And we're oh. living happily ever after. Oh, so cute. Yes, we are. It's cute regardless. Oh, wait, hold on. I didn't know we had a, like a whole little... That's Rapunzel's tower, the snuggly duckling, the kingdom. Oh. Okay, that's Tangle, a beloved, it's like a beloved classic, right? Uh, is it a classic? It came out, it's been like, what, 11 years since this movie came out? It wasn't that long ago. And I know there's so many little Rapunzel, there's like some shorts, Rapunzel's adventure. Does her hair grow back? Because her hair looks long in this, in this show. Her hair grows back? That's cool. That's good to know. N.T. Who? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you, Helix Sleep, for sponsoring this video. It's your girl, Kia J. Bye.